September 17th, 2024, Tuesday of the 24th week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, as a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. Now the body is not a single part, but many. Now you are Christ's body, and individually parts of it. Some people God has designated in the church to be first apostles, second prophets, third teachers, then mighty deeds, then gifts of healing, assistance, administration, and varieties of tongues. Are all apostles? Are all prophets? Are all teachers? Do all work mighty deeds? Do all have gifts of healing? Do all speak in tongues? Do all interpret? Strive eagerly for the greatest spiritual gifts. The Word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm. The response is, We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful song. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Know that the Lord is God. He made us, his we are, his people, the flock he tends. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise. Give thanks to him. Bless his name. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. For he is good, the Lord, whose kindness endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus journeyed to a city called Nain, and his disciples and a large crowd accompanied him. As he drew near to the gate of the city, A man who had died was being carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow. A large crowd from the city was with her. When the Lord saw her, he was moved with pity for her and said to her, Do not weep. He stepped forward and touched the coffin. At this the bearers halted, and he said, Young man, I tell you, arise. The dead man sat up and began to speak, and Jesus gave him to his mother. Fear seized them all, and they glorified God, exclaiming, A great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. This report about him spread through the whole of Judea and in all the surrounding region. The Gospel of the Lord.